All right, everybody. Welcome to this. I think I have everything open tonight. Hey, Doom Cup. Oh no. You found. Oh, it's good. You found. Uh, found her. Doing a good old Triforce hunt. Because I haven't in a hot minute. And Triforce hunts are usually less stressful than doing normal, like, Ganon fighting runs. Sometimes they're not. It depends. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do everything. And it's terrible when that happens. But, yeah, I think I have everything open that I normally have open. We've got Live Split here, which hopefully won't do some bullshit. Like it likes to do. Ah, oh, crap, I just cursed in, like, the first minute. Could be in an hour and one life. Now, uh, now Twitch will be up, or YouTube's gonna be upset. Did, a uh, standard start, which is a real bad idea. I, I don't get any money for the videos anyway. I don't know if I've ever actually done a standard start with, uh, the LTTP music pack, because I don't recognize this music. Oh yeah, hell yeah, everyone's looking messed up. It's funny, uh, like speaking of, uh, like the person asking, or Nutsi asking earlier if the, like, usual picture I have where I'm just like tangled up in the wires was horny, it's like, anyone who knows what's behind the screen right now, like, uh, this is just, uh, this is just Link to the Path, or, uh, sorry, Link's Awakening. It just doesn't usually, uh, I don't usually start here, so I don't know what this music's actually from. This might be the music when you first wake up if you never, like, hit a button or something? I don't know. Oh, this is a season song. Oh, I didn't realize it had season songs mixed in somehow, which I don't know how I didn't realize that because, like, here we go. This is definitely not a song from uh, Link's Awakening, so. Yeah, I just, I don't think I ever really thought about it. Oh, jeez. The bow being our only weapon is a little, a little stinky, but we'll make do. It, I mean, I like the Game Boy, uh, the game, well, no, GBA has the stinky font, but I do like the Game Boy, like the normal Game Boy sound font a bit, quite a bit. That key. We have to actually rescue Zelda because we have decided to do this mode. So enjoy that. Destroy Tektites. Yeah, get, I don't like, yeah, I don't like the GBA sound font very much. I'm definitely in agreement with that. It's a bit stinky. <laughs> okay. Don't give me a bunch of Triforce pieces early on, then I won't actually have any tools I need to beat anything. Someday I will get a sword. I need 20 of these triangles, so... We'll see how that goes. Hell yeah, we got O Worms as the the keeper of the key. What a bang going on three triangles. Really are going wild with the triangles today. And we got the tri the tri the tri triangles. There we go. You know, for some reason it felt like I was playing uh, Mario Shotgun for a lot longer than I was. I It's just, the time changes me really messed up. Like, I keep going to bed at like 8 o'clock. 
which is really annoying to Midas. He hates that. And I do this every year, by the way. Like, every year when the time change happens, I just start going to bed really early. Uh, yeah, the Game Boy Color Zelda pack, yeah. Oh, yeah, If you sorry, if you wanted a link to it, I could have given you a link. I didn't realize that's what you were asking for. Yeah, it's a good MSU pack, and it also has the bonuses of not getting copyright claimed by people who sing over random Zelda 3 songs for some reason. Like random German and Swedish people with really bad microphones that are singing over and they're like, I made this. Oh, you didn't... Is that on purpose, or do you just, like, forget to change it? Oh my god. Ghosts. Oh, I see. Oop, well, I'm dead. It's nice that when I get up, it's not dark anymore, at least. That was a problem for quite a while. Okay, so I don't remember what killed me already. It was this guy. I think. Maybe. not get hit by that. Oh my god. This area is always so immensely dangerous. It's really amazing just how dangerous the sewers are in this game. Which is probably why I usually do open instead of standard starts. But I wanted to switch things up. I think since air bow my bow is my only weapon it'll give me it'll give me the things I need to survive and have more ammo probably I wanted to see the rain I want to get all wet There is I think there's a chest yeah it's oh god those guys are always so dangerous too we sneak out of here successfully. We still got a couple rooms to go, which is very frightening. Maybe one of these rooms will have fellas with health. Or we'll have that guy. That's health. Oh my god, there's a bomb there. Oh, our friend is he back. Guy in our background there. He's back. He's ready. Got the funny slug that drops bombs everywhere. A bomb? Ooh, that's really good. I mean, we can live long enough to make use of it. Which is starting to become a question! Well, at least now I can get to those three chests. Okay, so we just need to escape this place once again. There are fewer things we have to do. This is dangerous room number one. Okay, I think this room we can relatively ignore. I've already opened this door. Guy doesn't seem to be able to actually throw the bombs anywhere. Another bomb. Okay, so in case I fuck up once, I have a second shot. 
So I really need something to happen here that isn't what's happening currently. He's not killable! Okay, so the the hard to hit guy is who has the key though. We cannot kill funny blue things, so we're on like a time crunch in that room. Yeah, I I hate that they can't get hurt by bows. That's really stinky. Like how they just keep friendly firing for me there. This run. Uh, I mean, maybe that's the idea, or maybe they're just like made of some kind of material that doesn't care about that sort of thing. I don't know. Did not drop a bomb for this time. We need to hit you. That key. Sneak past you. Oh my god. We're good. We made it. Fine. Oh my god! Rollers are back. Blow up bomb, blow up bomb! <laughs> useless, useless. Hey, a sword. That helps a lot, actually. <laughs> Roller time. Do I still have those dumb pictures here? I feel like I do. Yeah, here it is. The rollers. <laughs> I do still have the dumb pictures around. Okay, so we have a sword. To take the roller hit. This is quite a room. Oh my god, I was so close. This is like the gauntlet. This is the big gauntlet. Escaping from the stupid dungeon. Man, a, a, a bottle with a fairy would be pretty sweet about now, I feel like. At least I can deal with stuff a little bit better with the sword. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, I'm, I don't take much damage from funny spikes, which... about on brand. But I do take a lot of damage from that! These... stupid rollers, man. Okay, so this room is very dangerous. Oh my god! I got knocked upward into the, uh, the spiky ball. Yeah, the, the rollers are very inconsistent with how much damage they do. Okay, I think I'm going to have to just, like, go around in the side room so I don't get hit by the roller because I need that health. Assuming everything else doesn't one-shot me in this area. Ooh, I'll take that 20 rupees. Oh boy. Okay, we're almost out of here. Hopefully. Hopefully this will be the time. Time to shine. Just going to... Oh, let's see. Take the hit from Funny Spike Man, because he's fine. So, wait here and run into this room. I guess just go out the other door, because it's entirely too dangerous to be here.
Like, I hate wasting that bomb, but I kind of have to. That done, I should be able to just run for my life. Everyone hurts. All the time. Cool. Cool shield. All right, we have escaped. I'm gonna take this fish. No, don't, do not. Do. Son of a bitch. He stole my bomb, too, as he killed me. <laughs> Everybody hurts. Especially that guy. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to throw the fish, kill the thief, and then continue taking our fish, because I would like to use this fish. I mean, there's not just a fish next to the dude. It turns out, the fish gives you goods. Which you would never know, because why would you ever take a fish to this guy? But he gives you eight bombs. That's uh, a lot of bombs. You pretty much never have to buy bombs if you're able to get these A, because you usually end up finding enough afterwards that it doesn't matter anymore. Half magic, that's a good early find. Maybe, unless I find like nothing that uses magic. If I find like a rod early, that's a pretty good find. I have whichever... I can never remember what these stupid tablets are called. And it doesn't tell you, like, in the text. What is this thing? Yeah, even highlighting over it in the tracker doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> I just... I never knew what those were called, and I never will. I feel like only the first one's useful anyway. Hammer. Okay. They're in a bottle. That's ether. Okay. We're getting close to the hundred smackers we need to uh, buy from that man. I always forget to go into the forest before I come down here, but it's fine. We'll circle back up there later. Uh, the first quake must be the third one then, because I think Aether is the one that actually matters for anything in the game at all. Which is the first one. Oh damn, Master Sword already. The blue sword. Need money. I just need five smackers. Come on. It shoots more like a yellow. You got money for me? You got your you cash? You cashing? Hell yeah, you're cashing. I'm talking about. All right. We think this guy's a scam. We think he's good. Yeah, he's good. He's got the goods for us. That is pretty good. I can uh, I can get behind the red cane. That's the good stuff. That's okay. You uh, you're probably typing it as it happens, so it still counts, as Ropo.
Upgraded shield, which... Bleh. I think that's why they made the, uh... The mirror shield, like, actually matter in... Link's Awakening, because they had, like, three shields in this, and none of them did anything. Okay, speaking of... Ether, there it is. I have the book, so I guess I'm going to go and check on the Master Sword. They gave me this book really early, so either... Either it's really important to go into... Um... Desert Temple... Desert Palace, or this is important. Okay, now this is just a piece of heart. Wait, that's Bombos? Wait, I thought... Which one's Aether then? I thought bo you said Bombos was this... Oh, is Aether the second one? Man, see, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know what any of this crap is. <laughs> now, let me just make sure this doesn't matter. This does not matter. Ag Aghanim is off the table. Which is good, because... Who wants to do that? Ow. Rude. Ow. Everyone's got the bombs for me. So, we can go into the dark world. I'm not sure if I can do anything in there. Uh, I'm gonna check real quick. I feel like probably not, but... I'm a little curious if I can, actually. Horribles. Yeah, it's... So I have to take damage, I think will be the secret. I have to take damage in order to do anything in there. Which I might be able to pull off to paint on what's around. So let's find out what's around. Or that can happen. Oh, I have a fairy. Well, that's nice. What even killed me? There's an orb inside of the bush. Okay. No, I don't think it's a screen transition. I think I just have to take damage. Oh, I can't lift this anyway because I'm too weak. Never mind. Ugh. Wait, can I smash that with a hammer? I don't think I can. No. It'd be funny. I think it's some other game where you can smash those with a hammer. Okay, that did not have a death orb this time. I think one time I went there and I got damaged and I was able to just like lift the rock to get out while in bunny form. I don't think you have to screen transition. I think it's just take damage. Maybe I got an item? It might be I got an item. Because that might have been during a multi-world. Which that's definitely, that's an interesting thing to arrange with somebody to, uh, get a bunch of Dark World stuff early. 50 Smackers doesn't really matter. I have a neighbor nearby that's selling their place. Um, ah. It is trash, you're right. I have a neighbor nearby, like, a couple doors away that is sell selling their place. Um, and we need to kind of remodel this place. And she was like, oh, well, you could just sell your place and buy mine. Uh, and then you wouldn't have to remodel, and it's like, yeah... But also, like, the interest rates are so much worse now than they were when I bought this place. Like, I was only able to buy this place because the interest rates were, like, rock bottom during COVID. Like, ridiculously low. 
I don't know. I haven't been in there. She's just she's just wanting to like go to an assisted living facility. That's why she's trying to sell the place. Because, uh, we're, I mean, there's a few, like, younger families here and stuff, but to the most part, everyone here is, like, 80 years old and older, pretty much. Which, ex especially the board, which explains things. Do I have the palettes randomized? Because this desert does not seem like it's the right color, but I haven't noticed anything else being off. I guess the caves are purple, but I wasn't really thinking about it. For some reason, the caves being purple doesn't seem that strange to me. Oh, we got enough money for the real scam now. Yeah, I always shuffle the palette. I just, like, it's subtle enough this time that I didn't realize I had done it. I don't really pay attention, like when I'm using the uh, the randomizer website, I just kind of don't ever change the settings. I have no idea how he didn't hit me. I mean, he could be though. I'm sure there's, like, a desert somewhere that's kind of a reddish tint. That seems like a thing that would exist. Oh yeah, where? Tell me more about this funky desert. Okay, you know, I have enough bombs. I can cool it on the bombs. We're good on the bombs. I don't have a key. What is up here? Anything important? Uh, yep. Definitely need them boots. My god. Why that hurt so much? I got berries to touch. Hey Jade Eye Demoness, how you doing? Welcome to Link to the Past Randomizer. Where I had a heck of a time at the start because everything was terrible in the sewers. Hey, lanterns? Neat and all, but that's not immediately helpful. I guess we're done here. You even doing a vanilla stream of this? I did a vanilla like 100% run a while back, and I remember people just commenting on the YouTube like, "What is this?" and then like, it's just like a vanilla run. <laughs> like I had like five different people comment just like, "What is this?" It's just like, what kind of like, why are you asking? Uh, this one's uh, the VT randomizer from the website. The 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 more common one, I feel like. I sometimes do Archipelago instead, but I didn't this time because that takes a little more setup. Still need to up to modify this someday so I'm not wearing shoes anymore. Red bottle. Oh really? Um it's uh it's this one, like the that, that guy right there.
It's the, like, one of the original ones that I can recall existing. I don't know if there's any that really predated or not. If there are, I didn't hear ever hear about them. I mean, I, I know of a few others now, but that was definitely, like, the first one. Uh, they've updated for a long time, um, but yeah, the they've had MSU support for a couple years now. It's glittering. Oh, money, money, money. Now I can definitely get the scam. You have to, um, like, it doesn't have, it doesn't, like, let you select the music on the website. You have to do the MSU on your side, but it has, like, a little checkbox for MSU support when you're generating the, the, the seed. I know, a B. Very much wants to sting me. Roller! World's so dangerous. Uh, there's a, uh, location. Let me provide you with... Where is it? Here it is. This fellow right here. Uh, you can get, uh, some of these are in varying states of functionality, but the ones that are marked as, um tested like if you filter for the status and look at the ones that say like testing complete those always work really well the other ones sometimes work to varying degrees of yes flippers that's an interesting thing to find wish i had health i mean i guess i could just drink a poop See how it goes. Maybe someone will drop me health. Someone will be nice, I'm sure of it. Yeah, flippers usually come pretty late, so I am kind of surprised to see those already. Let me go say hi to the old man on the back porch. Or I had fixed that. I guess I fixed it. I had fixed it on the up and down, but on the left and right, and I got killed because I was testing something. Barman 64 hero pack? Oh, for, uh, is that one of the music packs? I'll have to take a look. I never actually played Barman 64. Is it good? <laughs> is it any game? Okay. Man, things need to- like, I have blue armor, can things stop doing so much damage for, like, a, a moment, please? Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check those out. I'll check out the music pack, too. Okay, there's a Triforce piece up there. Every N64 game is jank. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are some N64 games that are pretty, like, smooth operators. Oh, we got the pearl. Uh, I mean, that's cool, I guess. We got an orb. One whole orb. The thing is, when you get the orb, like, you don't get to hear the alternate Dark World music anymore. And I always want to, like, I, I have no idea what it is for most of these packs. Oh.
<laughs> okay. I didn't know the shield worked while you were swimming. I have like all four bottles already, which is kind of wild. Pretty sure my face doesn't have any orb repelling powers. Or arrow repelling powers, rather. Definitely doesn't have orb repelling powers. Oh, there's always one of these dudes here, I feel like. To lag the place out. Alright, you got anything good for us? Oh my god. It was a scam. That's one reason why I like Archipelagos, because he'll tell you what he's selling. And you can just be like, no, that's... Terrible and dumb. Don't give me that. <laughs> yeah, it's still weird to me that, like, they just don't have an option in the official tracker to actually track chests and dungeons. Because, like, that's such a stupid thing, even for races. Like, who cares? So it just seems like it's a bug, and it's just like, no, that's how it's supposed to be, and it's <laughs> why. Not even speedrunners are ruining it, it's whoever, like, decided to set whatever rule that is. It's really giving me the big money, and I do not need that so much money. Oh, I have no idea how many chests each dungeon have, honestly. I just have a vague... I just have, like, a vague route I usually take that tends to grab all the chests. But, like... That's why I... That's why Ice, uh... Ice Palace gets me so much. Because, like, there were chests I didn't even know existed because I never had to get them, and then suddenly I did once. And I was just like, thought, I thought I was just softlocked because I had gotten everything. Or at least I thought I had gotten everything, and it turns out I had not. Okay, that was weird. So I was hitting right and trying to attack that thing to the right, and it was just insisting on going up. It's been a while since I haven't had to do the room in here for the key without it being dark. It seems like it's always... like, it does not like giving me a lantern early. I wonder if that's one of the items I should just always start with an archipelago. Oh my god. This is dangerous. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to get the uh, secret chest that no one knows exists. Someday I should do pot sanity. I mean, I don't think it'd be that awful, because it has a counter that tells you how many pots are in the level, if I remember right. You know, there was like one time I did this correctly, and it's never again. Okay, this 
Just going this one. Cool, a unique item in the Dark Village, thanks. There's still... still two, there's still one item around somewhere, maybe. I mean, I've watched videos multiple times on how to do it, and it just never... I just never get it right for some reason. Magic powder. That means the boss. Oh no, I have everything, so the boss might not be useless. It probably will be though. It's not pixel perfect. I just don't do it right. Imagine if they randomized all the orbs, but that they weren't orbs anymore somehow. Like that. Like what happened when I load into the next room, but like all the time. There are two fellas like in the same square there. One O worm remain. Nice. Uh, I was hoping it'd be the green pendant too, just for extra like niceness. should look at the map. I always forget to do that. Okay, so our repair is... Um... There's like one thing I can do besides Aghanim, which I dearly hope it doesn't expect me to do Aghanim. I mean, Aghanim is not really a big deal, but it's like, just don't. Don't do that. Yeah, we need hands. We don't have hands. Loot would help, would maybe, would get us some Dark World access, but not a whole lot. The creeper a woo. Remember the first time I did this and I used so many items on this guy trying to figure out what he needed? And the 
and the uh, Link's Awakening, this guy causes the screen to flash, which is so much fun. Oh my god, you're really gonna make me do Aghanim. That's so that's so gross and disgusting. What does it think I can do? I did the magic bat. Why do you still have the magic bat marked as something I can do? Can you forcibly mark that off, I guess? Time for, uh, time for orbs. The tracker's always being weird. Oh my god, what a champion of a location there. Yeah, the tracker... The trackers... I don't know. I don't know what's up with them, but they're always being weird. Yeah, I'm surprised the timer hasn't just shut off randomly, because it loves doing that. I did let it update, because of course it needs to update all the time. I like Telegram. Telegram's always updating like every five minutes for some reason, so is the stupid timer. Let's get this maze confused with the one in uh, Palace of Darkness. Which is why I keep taking the wrong paths. They're very similar, but not quite the same. Wow! Take it, but I don't know how I did that. Yeah, four spoke. Piece of heart held by someone friendly. As bad as I thought it would be. Alright, we've made it finally. I like how he still does the thing when you walk to the side like that. I wonder how many people, like, didn't notice him zooming back like that and didn't know they could cut the curtain and just, like, left. Like, imagine having, like... Oh, you did? <laughs> 
That's what I mean, like, I, I can definitely see that. It's just like, oh, I guess he's gone, we have to go somewhere else. It's just like, wandering around for like two hours trying to figure out what you're supposed to do next. Like, the Aghanim Tower Climb is not easy at this point in the game. I don't think you even have any of the armors yet. Alright, we, uh, we're getting a lot of blue balls here, and I do not like Can you just, like, give me a proper orb? Thank you. We're getting two lightnings, folks. I remember when the uh, earlier versions of this randomizer made it so he never did the blue balls, and that was so great. And then they reintroduced the blue balls, and that was so sad. Like, honestly, the... The very early versions of this randomizer were, like so much better than later versions. But since it's hosted on a website, you can't, like, get the older versions, as far as I know. Alright, now we're here. Yeah, One Fourth Magic was a thing, too. That was good times. Red Mail. Uh... I... a little bit, but it didn't really ever matter, because... Honestly, like, money is kind of irrelevant in this, unless you're trying to get to the fish. Alright, you can have that arrow. That's fine. Alright, how hype we thinking Hype Cave's gonna be? I'm thinking not at all. But we've had um we have had some stinky hype caves in our time and I don't expect that to change. There's just there's sometimes just some weird elitism that happens with the randomizer makers, like the person that made the Super Metroid randomizer and was just like, everyone knows how to infinite bomb jump. It's in the it's in the the video if you leave the game on for twenty minutes. It'll show it on the front, the, the, you know, it'll show it on the demo. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, even if I, like, even, I do know how to infinite bomb jump, technically, but, like, even so, yeah, the tracker's just not fucking anything anymore. Even so, like, I'm, that doesn't mean I'm good at it, like, that doesn't mean I'll make progress doing it, especially if there's, like, any frame lag happening. Like, that time when I had to infinite bomb jump to get past the area, the like, that first hot zone. And, like, the the frame rate's not the same when the background's all wibbly-wobbly. And I just couldn't do it. Full mushroom, thanks. Okay, so... Uh, unless this gives us something spectacular... Like some gloves over here, then Palace of Darkness is our next bet, which Palace of Darkness is a fancy man. And so is Thieves Town. Nice Palace is garbage. Okay. Room randomizer, oh that's nice. That sounds kinda like Metro Planets. I definitely need to do more Metro Planets at some point. Uh, this was useless. Well, off to Palace of Darkness we go, unless uh, maybe the Potion Lady has something fun for us. Anything I can do to not have to... Uh... I want to go. Well, that's pretty sweet. Can you link that in the Discord? If you have a link to it. I definitely like the sound of that. And chomps.
Who wants a mushroom? A mushroom. Better give me something good for this mushroom, or I'll be very upset. Thanks, uh, thanks, Doom Cup. I will have to bookmark that yet. Oh, quality of life options, that's always good. Did I actually leave the map? Yeah, I did. More rupees, get out of here, I don't need this. Is what I mean, like, the, the Triforce hunts always get really rude to me, because it's just like, remember that one time when I was at like 19 out of 20? And I was at 19 out of 20 for like two hours. That was... Like, Triforce Hunts are supposed to be like... Quick. And sometimes I'll like... If I feel like messing with the settings on the website, which aren't really that easy to use... I'll sometimes set it so that there's just, like, entirely too many Triforce pieces. But I haven't done that in a while. Oh. Got cash for, uh, days to go through all this. Ow. Yeah, it hasn't been bad in a while. Uh, it's not really been that long for this one either. Every possible check contains a Triforce piece. I mean, I would do it, honestly. How did I go the wrong way? So, monkeys only exist in the dark world in the Zelda universe, is what I'm getting out of this, by the way. Now, having the magic mirror for this uh, particular dungeon is going to be a bit stinky. That button. I feel like this dungeon definitely does the most callbacks to uh, Zelda 1 of any of them. And I'm wondering if this was one of the first dungeons they designed because of that. Wait, hold on. The Boots is in Paradox Cave. The Boots. That's, uh... I do not have access to anything remotely like Death Mountain yet. I need gloves! The second quest, I never really played through the second quest because it was confusing. I, I do remember like being able to walk through the solid walls and everything now. But I never got too far in it because a bit much. Damn it. There's a hidden- oh yeah, everything was hidden in the second quest. Unless you mean like an extra hidden Zelda, which I don't- I never heard about that, but... But yeah, you like, beat Ganon, and then you had to like, run around everywhere to try and actually find where Zelda was. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I knew about that.
I have played the Zelda 1 randomizer, unless you mean, like, something different. Like, are you talking about, like, it actually shuffles around the overworld? It locate like, the where you end up when you walk through a screen? That sounds pretty, uh, pretty neat. That's the case. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, that that I haven't played. And you know about all these cool things. Gotta share that one too, I guess. They do not have the big key. Yeah, he, uh, he's definitely good for playing those. I mean, I found out about Shotgun Mario from Joel, so... Otherwise, we would have never known about that. Really, that's pretty sweet. I'll have to, uh... Yeah, if you, if you don't find it, I'll have to... I'm not to remind me to find it, but if you find it, definitely post that one, too. Now I have the big power in business. I remember back when I used to make try to make Zelda maps. Yeah, don't do that. Well, you tried to make Zelda one maps with the what was that thing? I think it's just called Zelda Classic, and uh, that's why I learned the funny. Things that Zelda 1 has for rules, like only having one exit per map, like from a, you know, like the, uh... oh boy, Rain, hello, are you there? Uh, I know it's gone, my brain's gone. Like from having, like, when you push a thing, you can only do, like, one secret thing, stuff like that. And, like, you can only have a staircase that goes, like, one location. One, like, dun like underground location, if that makes sense. Stuff like that. Alright, thanks. Thanks, Doom Cup. Because there's some DJ that's like, yeah, I I made the music to Zelda 1 Overworld. Oh yeah, I love when uh when stuff does that. Like there's a Zelda there's a randomizer of sorts that's for Oh yeah, that's that is a different thing. But yeah, there's a randomizer of sorts for Zelda Classic. Um, which I don't remember what it's called exactly anymore, that I played a while back. Um, and that one always marked, like, all the bumble bushes and stuff, and that was pretty sweet. How'd you miss, you dumbass? think the boss is going to be. Hopefully not Trinax. That will be very sad. Uh, hmm. Very sad. Not mean to do that. Maybe... I would be faster, actually. Yeah. 
Go back here. Maybe. And I'll be right back. Quick, uh, quick bio break. Don't go anywhere, everyone. Alrighty. Uh, that's one thing, like, it's amazing to me that people can do, is the people who can just, like, go stream for, like, six hours without ever taking a piss. I don't know how they do that. Yeah, it's just like, man, like there's so many people that do that. I don't know how they do it. I, I'm not in the dark world. What am I doing? I mean, I also piss before stream, but that doesn't change the fact that I need to piss during, too. <laughs> like, two hours is a. I feel like two hours is a pretty long time to go without using the bathroom unless you do not drink any water. Gotta, gotta use that bottle. Drink, drink your soda and then use that can. I actually do, like, wonder how many people just, like, I feel like some people must just stream in diapers or something, and they just don't tell anyone. So, I use, um, if you, I mean, Nightbot's fine if you don't want to, like, do any real setup of your own and kind of just have everything built in for you. I use a thing called stream, like it's literally just uh, streamer.bot and it's run locally. Yeah, that's literally the URL and everything, so that's that URL will be fine. And um, I run it locally and then I have it hooked into an, a, a, a separate account I made on Twitch. I actually have another bot account I made too, but I don't use it. I use OBS. I use stream elements for my alerts, but I don't stream using any, like, plugins for OBS like that. I don't use the stream elements or the Streamlabs plugins. I thought there was a staircase out of here. Is there really not? How long of a way do I have to go? Roller time. Here we go. They really just do not want you having a good time in the dark world. They're supposed to be what? What? What the hell, man? Up in the corner by that cave? Okay, let me look up there. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, this guy? I guess that works. I have to go through the hammer time, but that's fine. Oh, is there one where the shop is? Let me look. Um. No. Yeah, it's not.
It's messing with us. Messing with our minds. Or in Rollerville. I wish I had gloves. It would make navigating so much easier if I had gloves. Oh, hey. Gloves. They are real. I just realized something really dumb. I mean, it wouldn't be very easy to implement because of where it would be like talk to your character and stuff, but you could definitely like make your character holding something when you have gloves. It'd be kind of funny. Because that's like the only time where you can have something invisible. Then have it show up again later. Oh. Yeah, the tracker is not like keeping track of anything I'm hitting for some reason. Keep off, Mark, keep off. Yeah, I can actually go to the Mount Death Mountain finally. There's a long time coming. It turns out the tracker is actually designed so that you can't ever... That just doesn't mark anything off anymore on purpose. So we know the boots are on Death Mountain. But we also know that Dark Kakariko has a bunch of stuff. Tracker did go on strike, and Tracker loves going on strike. Every time they- they like constantly update it too, where my like- I have a save to just save the size of the window. And every time I use that, like every time I go load it, it's like, this is incompatible, and I have to like save a new one, and then just open the JSON file and edit it so that it says the new version number and then it just works. And it's like, why, why is this a, why can't you just import it? Like, why is this a problem? <sighs> yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like all I do is complain about emo tracker and live split all the time <laughs> whenever I'm doing a randomizer. Ugh. Yeah, they do. Very impressive. Nice chain chomp. Yeah, I've done that. Stop having it marked. Ooh, we got the super gloves now. We're we're rolling in the money. Mega hand. Don't walk into bombs. Just, just not even trying anymore. Like the Lewis script isn't working, but it definitely is working. I guess I could restart the Lewis. Maybe that'll help. What's funny, if you have the chest following you and you try to like into a dungeon, it'll just be like, take me somewhere nice. 
Like, you're a chest. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, they're, that's some moldy bread. I don't know what they're working on there. Cool. Wanna do this the slowest way possible when you don't have boots? Let's go. I hear ghosts. Zombie ghosts. Hell yeah. More health. Totally worth it. Amazing. I love that. Uh, where, did, didn't they reboot Baywatch recently or something? I feel like that happened. Out of here. Now I can fight, um, Prynex. That would have been helpful a while back. Where was Trinex? He was in Palace of Darkness, right? Here. Almost there, we only got six more to go. <laughs> Long now. Let's use it. it might not matter, but I'm not sure. I'd have to go and check. Lagging, lagging time, yeah. I hate the red ones, they're so tanky. Check what this boss is right now. Uh, no, I don't have Key Sandy on. This was supposed to be a quick, uh, like, post Mario 64 Triforce Hunt. Which is probably going to take a while because Triforce Hunts like to really hate me sometimes. Oh my god, what a room. Oh my god, what a room. There's so much happening here. Okay, I do have powder. I think I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna try and... That. That room was very mean. Off chance that uh, that blind is actually here, I will do the thing. Sometimes it is. I don't have. I have red mail, but I don't have any of the like magical invuln. Which I, I'll probably be fine. But sometimes blind just goes extremely wrong, extremely fast. If it is blind. If it's anyone else, it'll probably just be...
the bomb brother. Alright, we got all those. That didn't last very long. I feel like that usually lasts longer. Yeah, if I can get the bu oh wait, am I miss is there a key in there usually? Or am I missing a key? Does the boss have a key? The boss has a key. Yeah, the boss has a normal ass key. Oh, that's so mean. I hate that. That means I have to like wander around and do all this crap again. Who are you? Oh, you are blind. I didn't think blind could be here, like, without existing in the basement, too. I thought you had to, like, if he was here, you had to still do the thing. The fun fact about blind is that every weapon you have does the same damage to blind. It's just X number of hits. It does not care what kind of sword you have. He doesn't have the key? Wait, I... The big... The big chest has a small key in it. Why is my health not full? Okay, there we go. Yeah, the, the big chest has a small key in it. So, to get the big big chest, you have to open the big chest. You know, for fun, fun circular logic. Yeah, it's not coming off. I have to, like... Do everything myself. It's kind of like sometimes the big, like in some dungeons that, or some of the light world dungeons that don't need the big key to get to the boss, the uh, the big key will be be inside the big chest sometimes, which is pretty funny. Okay, so I have the mirror, so I don't think I can just like, I can just might be faster. Take this funny chest down to the man, and he'll probably have nothing for us. And then we'll go to Death Mountain. Funny spike time. Yeah, hopefully the chest has a triangle in it. Or a hook shot. I I'll take a hook shot too. Where am I going? Boy, oh boy, I love me some bombs. Real nice. Please tracker work. It was working for a little bit. That's one thing I like doing with Archipelago too, is I like that that's what this Ramizer used to have also. It used to have the expansion pickups as things you could just find. And it was fantastic. And then they got rid of that for some reason. Like, I don't know. They made so many weird decisions that, like, I don't know anyone who liked the decisions. <laughs> nice chest ahead. Speaking of, uh, that person that raid earlier that, uh, I just finished Dark Souls 1. Oh yeah, Amazing Chest Ahead, that's what it is. It'll be like the heat death of the universe and that message will still be there somehow. Time for dangerous orbs. Uh, cause they're bad orbs. They're not squishy. Out of here. 
Honestly, it would be neat if they implemented a way that you could, um, modify, like, any sprite you wanted as part of making a random, like, starting a randomizer seed, like, instead of just the player character. So you could just turn things into very funny things. Like, oh yeah, this is, uh, just like a beach ball now instead of a, uh... Instead of a boulder, you know, why not? Just let me do that. Nice. Four more to go. Mark that off. Mark that off. Not auto-track anymore. It's auto-tracking my inventory, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just not... The map's just not auto-tracking anymore for some reason. Just me off, I guess. Oh, is it, like, delayed with the item pickups? Double time. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not. Yeah, I guess. Let's see how long it takes for that, uh, double to show up. Or maybe it never will. Something sharp is in Mimic Cave. Hmm. No, oh, I love me some sharp things. Okay, interesting. Uh, it's seven crystals. The normal, the normal default requirement. Which, ah, I fucked it up. For not playing this very often. Yeah, I shouldn't have to go to Gans Palace. That would be terrible if I had to do that many dungeons. It might. We don't know. Funny gentlemen. I mean, it made me go into the basement of Tower of Hera, so you be the judge. At least I can't bur BK mode myself. That is the one solace we have. I could try to bomb jump that, but I'm not going. I'm not that good at bomb jump. Not anymore, at least. Ash is with the witch. That's a bit late for that hint. I used to be good at bomb jumping, but I think when was the last time I would have had to bomb jump? Like, I don't do these randos that much anymore anyway, so it would have been, it's probably been years. Like a, uh, like a year or two since I've last bomb jumped. I think the route I take in Ice Palace these days doesn't really require me to bomb jump anyway. Unless I'm like... I actually have everything, which never happens. I'm never, like, ready to go that early. Right, who we got here? Oh, what? Well, you're not supposed to actually be here. This is vanilla bullshit. Get out of here. How'd I... My god. How'd I miss that second spin attack? Did you see that? Like, that definitely hit his tail, and he just didn't give a shit. All right, see you, Crafty. Thanks for coming. We've had, like, two... We've had two vanilla bosses so far, which is really messed up. Except his eyes fucked up. What is happening with his face? What's wrong with your face? Out of here. Cool math. 
We get green pendant. That's fun. We're all involved. You think, uh, think Sasperil is going to have anything we care about? I don't. You think he'll have a triangle? I guess that's that's possible. Oh. My goddamn hammer. We got triangle up there. Uh, let me remember here I wanna jump. Oh, <laughs> go in. God damn it. I remember uh, Lord of the Rings Online. I, I think I've talked about this before back uh, when I used to play that. And the healer class was a bard, and you could play, you could use like a text script to play basically any song. Uh, and you had a lot of different instruments at your disposal. And one of the instruments you could use was the triangle. So, like, you would set up Fury of the Storm. And played on a triangle, and it would just be a cacophony of, like, one note, basically. It was great. Follow people around just going wild on your triangle. There's those boots. And more money that I don't need. <clears throat> you can do that in Mordow? That's pretty good. I've never played Mordow. I think this has it. I think he said that it's been like modified. Like it's had updates that make it a little bit less of a asshole to play. I mean of course oh that's the game Xavian plays, that's right. Yeah, of course Xavian plays. I forgot that was, uh, that's the game we were talking about. But yeah. On a loot? That's pretty funny. I mean, people get disgusting about everything. Get the good music here. have boots finally real. Yeah, these were pretty late boots. But better late than never. I have had seeds, never boots. Alright, we're done. I'm get out of here. Save and quit. I guess I could have saved and quit in the dungeon, in the cave, but no one accused me of being efficient. This is not a game I have speedrun, because I am terrible at this. Bam. Eh, only an hour and a half. I mean, that's kind of long for a Triforce hunt. Uh, who? And those emotes and wilds chat. Who? <laughs> I mean, I know people who can do like Super Metroid and Link to the Past combo in like two hours. And it takes me an hour and a half to do a Triforce hunt. Pretty sad. All right, how messed up are our fellows going to be today? I need to do like what three dungeons? It's not bad. All of our messed up men's here. It's interesting because like 
It, it makes me think that the way they randomize the enemies is they randomize the enemy the enemy spreadsheet, like the the sprite sheet, because that's the only reason this would make sense. So does that mean like somehow the sprites and the code behind them are tied together, or like I don't understand how that works, like. I really should look at the source code for the Anonymizer sometime and just see what the hell it's doing. Because it doesn't make sense to me that it would be randomized here. <laughs> my dad's, or my uncle is a thief, of course. He's always, I mean everyone's a mess of pixels got these guys. Find the best road. I mean, aren't we all pixels if you really think about it? <laughs> it's kind of like how integration is just putting infinite number of boxes under a curve to get its area because you uh you know because boxes are square so they don't fit for flare of the curve if you have if they're infinitely small and you have an infinite number of them that's fine but we are an infinite number of pixels perhaps A really rich kid. He sure was. He gave me 300 bucks. I guess the real question is, is what is the resolution of the world? I think that's the first uh, question you have to answer. And then you can figure out from there, like... <laughs> yeah. And you can figure out from there how many pixels it takes to make a person. The lost old man looking uh, kind of kind of sick. Remember when people were like say like talking about people being able to see frame rates? Like that's how it works. They're like, oh, well, humans can only see like forty frames per second, and it's like, what are you talking about? That has nothing to do with any. That that doesn't doesn't make any sense. That doesn't mean anything. And it's like. Like, if you're, you, you, you don't know, like, you don't really notice frame rates typically if they're consistent, but that's just because that's, like, we're able to interpret things, you know, but, like, if you have something at 500 frames per second and it keeps dipping down to 200, you'll still notice, because it's just inconsistent. But that's why I don't really care about having, like, High hertz monitors probably just stick to 60 because it's easier and I don't really care. Plus it's easier on the graphics card if it's doing fewer frames and... You know, you always have to keep that in mind, especially if you stream. So I think nowadays I probably don't have to care that much, but, you know, that was a... That was a concern 13 years ago. I had to look at the calendar real quick, 14 years ago. Getting on 14 years ago. Actually, it might already be 14 years ago, because I think my first streams were in 2009. On Livestream.com or whatever the hell it was called. But, like, there's no record of that junk anymore. That's long gone. I don't think that, that site doesn't ex even exist anymore. And I definitely wasn't, like, I didn't start exporting stuff to YouTube until, like, what, 2017 or something? 2016 or 17? So, like, none of that junk exists before then. Which, like, honestly, that's probably for the best because I, it's not like I said anything, like, bad, but I definitely did not have good content back then. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was in the middle of a it was in the middle of a Chrono Trigger stream when someone was like, "You should like start like saving your vods to YouTube," and I was like, 
You know what? Sure. So it was like halfway through a Chrono Trigger stream that I did start doing that. It might have been you even, I don't know. Someone was just like, you should do that. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I will. Now I record locally at a higher resolution than I stream at, actually, which is fun for the whole family. It might have been MC, yeah. I don't know. It could have been... could have been anybody. I guess we could look. It's probably in the part where I exported it because that's when it started. I think I was showing the chat by that point, too. I've been doing that for a long time. All right, first sword, pretty quick. 18, I mean, on, to be fair, those 18 minutes were just trying to get through the intro of the game because I kept dying. Hour and a half for the Pegasus. I got the Pegasus boots, like, just before I stopped, before I finished the seed, basically, which is kind of fucked up. No bonks, because I barely had the Pegasus boots. Eight deaths. Only eight deaths? It felt like I died more than that. About half the checks. Why is it's time disagree? Oh, you know why? Because I walked away for a couple minutes to take a bio break, that's why. And then this lovely messed up screen here. Yeah. All right, well, that will do it for me. Close everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. That will do it for me. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing Terraria with my community. So that will be fun. Uh, we'll be starting that at 2 o'clock Eastern time about, give or take however long it takes us to give set up. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a good rest of your Saturday, and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow.